Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to teach you on how you are going to factor trinomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c when a is not equal to 1. Kasi kapag ka ang a is equal to 1, walang number na nandito before x squared, before ng quadratic term. Pero since when a is not equal to 1, Pwede na itong maging 2, maging 3, maging 4, and so on. So, ang a ngayon ay hindi na 1. Example, 3x squared minus 3, 13x plus 12. So, ang a natin is 3, where b is negative 13 and c is 12. So, paano na ngayon natin siya ipapaktor? So, sundan nyo ako kung paano. Ang una nyo gagawin, alisin nyo muna yung 3. So, paano aalisin? Buburahin ba? Siyempre, hindi. So, ang gagawin natin, multiply natin yung 3 na yon dito sa last term. So, multiply nga natin ito. So, magiging 36 na yan because 3 times 12 is 36. Tapos, copy nyo lang tong mga naiwan na to. Then, ito, magiging x squared na lang yan. Okay? And then, para na tayo ngayon nagpa-factor, no, tulad ng aking previous video, when a is equal to 1, imaginary 1 siya. So, paano nga ulit ginagawa yun? So, kukuha natin yung 36, no? Positive 36, ano ang factors ng 36? Na ang target natin is a negative 13. So, dapat parehas siyang negative. So, ano yun? Pwede siyang negative 36 times negative 1. Pwede rin siyang negative 12 and negative 3. Magiging 13? Hindi. Magiging 13? No. So, pwede rin siyang um, 6 and 6, parehas negative. No pa rin. So, gamitin natin ngayon ang negative 9 and negative 4. Magiging negative 13 to pagka kinuha yung sum. Ito ay negative 12, ito naman ay negative 15, at ito naman ay negative 37. Since the middle term is negative 13, Kukuha na na ngayon na negative 9 and negative 4. So, ang factored form, syempre, maglagay tayo ng parenthesis. So, x, factors ng x squared, factors ng negative 36, nakuha natin na negative 9 and negative 4. So, after nyan, since nag-multiply tayo ng 3 dun sa last term, mag-divide na ngayon tayo ng minultiply natin kanina na 3 dito sa magkabilang last terms. Okay? So, kung divisible sila, i-divide nyo. So, magiging x minus 3. Kung divisible sila, i-divide nyo. Since pag dinivide nito ay magiging um, decimal, tanggalin nyo na lang yung 3 at i-multiply nyo doon sa kabila. So, magiging 3x minus 4. So, wala na ito ngayon. Ito na ang factors ng ating 3x squared minus 13x plus 12. Kung nagdududa pa kayo, mag-foil method tayo. Dito natin i-foil method. So, ano yon? x minus 3 multiply by x by 3x minus 4. So, multiply by foil method, that will be 3x squared. This is negative 4x. This is negative 9x and this is positive 12. So, bring down 3x squared Pwedeng pag-combine to, that is negative 13x, bring down 12. Okay, so, ito ba ay kaparehas nito? So, parehas siya. So, ibig sabihin, ito ngayon ang factors niya. The x minus 3 and 3x minus 4. Okay, example number 2. Uh, we will factor the x, uh, the 10x squared plus 39x plus 14. So, Gawin natin ulit yung method kanina. Aalisin natin yung 10, pero huwag nyo burahin. I-multiply nyo yun dito. So, magiging... So, pag minultiply nyo yun, magiging 140 na ito. Then, bring down 39x, sa yung naiwan na x squared. And then, mag-factors lang tayo ng tulad nung ginagawa natin before. We will get the 140 
The factors of 140, ang target natin ay 39. So, isipin natin yun. Ano-ano kaya yun? So, kung naiisip ko, pag hinati kayo sa dalawa, meron akong tig 70 factors yun. Pag hinati ko naman sa apat, meron akong tig 35. Pwede yung pag hinati ko sa sampu, meron akong tig 14. Pero, ito ay positive, no? So, ang target na ay 39. Check natin kung may nakuha na tayong 39 out of this. So, this is 72. This is 39. And this is 24. So, may nakuha na ako na 39. So, therefore, magiging factors nito, lagyan natin ng parenthesis. So, x and x para sa x squared. Para sa 140, we have 4 and 35. Parehas na positive. Okay, we're not yet finished kasi may minultiply tayong 10 para maging balance. Eh, divide natin ito ngayon by 10. Okay, so using your concepts in fractions, we will reduce this into its lowest term kasi hindi naman sila divisible, no? Okay, so x plus by 2, that is 2, by 2, that is 5. By 5 naman, that is 7. By 5, that is 2. Okay. So, alisin natin yung denominators. Ilagay natin doon. So, ang, magi ang mangyayari, magiging, um, ito magiging 5x plus 2. At ito naman, ay 2x plus 7. Okay. If you are not yet sure with your answer, pwede natin gamitin ang point method. Dito ko isusulat. Ano ulit yun? We have 5x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 7. So, point method tayo, no? That is 10x squared. Plus 14. So, since na ito ay parehas doon, the factors now are 5x plus 2 times 2x plus 7. So, may ibang cases na yung iba ay hindi na gumagamit nito at saka hindi na rin nag-foil method kasi they are confident enough with their answers. So, kung praktisado na kayo mabuti, magagawa nyo na yun. Okay, example number 3, we have 6x squared plus 19x minus 20. So, again, ang gagawin natin, multiply natin ito, huwag niyong burahin ito ha, that is, um, x squared plus 19x minus 120. So, factors of x squared, we have x and x, factors of negative 120, so maganap tayo rito. So, pwede siyang, pagin natin sa dalawa, meron kang 60. So, negative positive to kunyari. Yung kabila, so, negative positive to. Tapos, yung kabila, positive and negative naman. Pag inati yan sa apat, meron na akong pig 30. So, positive, negative, positive. Tapos, ito ay positive, negative. So, pag inati yan sa, pwede yan sa lima, that is 24. So, negative to, ito naman ay positive. Okay. So, check muna natin kung magkakaroon na ako ng 19. So, ito ay um, 58. Ito ay negative 58. Hindi. Ito ay 26. Negative. Uh, negative to, ito ay positive naman. So, negative 26. Ito ay positive 19. Ito ay negative 19. So, middle term is positive 19. Dito tayo. So, we will have negative 5 and positive 24. May minultiply tayong 6, i-divide na yun siya sa 6. So, ano mangyayari? Hindi na pwedeng lowest term. That is 6x minus 5. Yung kabila naman, this is 4. So, x plus 4. Okay na. So, ito na yung factors. Check natin kung tama. So, we have 6x minus 5 and x plus 4. So, we will have 6x squared minus 24x minus plus 24x then minus 5x minus 20. 
So that is 6x squared plus 19x minus 20. So parehas ba? Yes. So therefore, these are the factors. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning the factoring trinomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c when a is not equal to 1. And before I end up my video lesson, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. Eldrian Derican. And I hope you learned something. Goodbye. Thank you.